What's up learners? How's it going? Today I've been working all the way through, well, pretty much all day on Udacity's Artificial Intelligence Standard Degree Project 2, otherwise building a adversarial search agent, that's a bit of a mouthful. In other words, uh, rather than adversarial search agent, that sounds way too complex. I like to keep things as simple as they need to be. Essentially, it's a game playing uh, artificial intelligence at the game Isolation. Now, I've mentioned this before in the vlog, I won't go through the rules of Isolation because it's it could be take a bit long and I, I can't really explain them properly. Anyway, the project is a modified version of the traditional game of Isolation and I run into a roadblock. I'm trying to trying to get some functions going here. As you can see, I've got dual coding windows up here in Atom and the Udacity classroom up here. So I've got lots of coding happening here. I've run into a, a problem here implementing the Minimax algorithm. Let me show you terminal actually. So this is the Udacity submission section. So if I type in Udacity submit isolation, it submits my project and does a few tests on it for me. So if you see test output, this is the function I'm trying to do. Minimax, Minimax player dot Minimax. And I got an E for that, which means error or test failed. So we've got E's for all the Minimax functions. So what did I do? Because I'm getting so many errors. I wrote down here what I've done today so far. This is just like a journal entry essentially. What I've done today, what my next steps are for tomorrow, and that's what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow. So I'm gonna take a break, let let the let my subconscious solve the problem for me rather than just sitting at the computer aimlessly typing away and trying to solve it. I may come to a sol solution eventually, but from, you, you probably know this if you've been keeping up the vlog, from me taking breaks, I solve more problems than I do just sitting at the computer. So I've been lifting a lot of weights with my mind today on this coding challenge. I'm about to go lift a lot of weights with my body and head to the gym. I'm doing something a little different today. I've decided for every Pomodoro I do studying, I'm going to do five pull-ups. And so I'm aiming to do six Pomodoros at least on my Udacity uh, AI Nano Degree Project 2. And so I've just completed one, so we'll mark it off the whiteboard. And look at this, this is a mess right now. This is what I do. I line up 10 Pomodoros a day. That was my first one for the Udacity AI Nano Degree. So you see here, this is a goal for today. Udacity six pomodoros. Let's do some pull-ups. Five done, 25 more to go. 10 pull-ups down. Halfway through my study goal today of six pomodoros, so that means I've done 15 pull-ups. Still stuck on the first function of the second project, but that's all right, I'm gonna have a break, get something to eat, and I'm sure once I knock over this first function, the rest of them will come with momentum. 20 pull-ups done. One more power. 25 pull-ups done. One more set to go. Six sets of pull-ups done, six sets of five. So that's 30 pull-ups overall. So what does that mean? Come check it out. The marking off Udacity, six Pomodoro's done. Today was a big day, very big day. Check this out, I'm so happy. Boom, we passed the first function of the, of the project. It didn't, it took all day, but we made it. As you can see, this little dot indicates test pass. And we got test inter, test output interface of Minimax, player.minimax, four dots, baby. That means the first function's done. My brain is officially toasted. That was a, a big session of coding for me. Me. Uh, six Pomodoro's worth, so that's about two, two and a half hours or three hours, I'm not sure. You can add up, about six 25 minute blocks. I'm done for coding for today. I'm gonna go ahead for a run and get back into the project tomorrow. I've got about a week left to finish it. I'm excited, you know why? Because I may have mentioned it a few vlogs ago, probably in the 100 Days of Code vlog series, that I applied to Startup Catalyst, which is a mission for uh, 18 to 29 year olds in Australia to go over to Silicon Valley for a two week trip, fully funded. And I've been shortlisted for it for the mission coming up in November. I'm 10 out of 10 keen for that. I've got an interview tomorrow at 2.45 or so. And so today I've spent some time researching, went over back through my application, what did I actually say, watched some videos on the website to, to get an idea of what the mission will be about. And it looks absolutely epic. It takes a group of youths, as I said, who are a tech savvy and have entrepreneurial spirit, takes them over to Silicon Valley with the goal of visiting some of the biggest tech startups over there and the idea is so that they well people like myself if we were to go over we bring that information back to Australia and build up the startup ecosystem here. You can check out more about Startup Catalyst missions on startupcatalyst.com.au uh, slash missions slash youth missions. This is the one I'm going on and I'll put the link in the description by the way. Oh well, sorry. I'm not going on yet. I've got the interview for it tomorrow. I'm excited for that and otherwise today I went through the data camp daily chat 
challenge. So we'll check back in tomorrow after the interview, see how I go, and then also I'll let you know if I get selected for it or not. Either way, I'm excited just to be shortlisted, and worst case scenario, I keep doing what I'm doing, which I'm absolutely loving. Check it out, I just finished the Python programming track on Datacamp. It involved a series of few courses, like an introduction to Python, so going over some basics and then some intermediate stuff on Python for data science, which was, I learned all about list comprehensions. Oh my God, my mind is blown. All the stuff I've been going over in the artificial intelligence standard degree involves list comprehensions and I didn't even really know what they were. So now I've got a deeper understanding of what list comprehensions are. I'm sure I can use them in the future. Um, I'm definitely gonna go back over my notes and whatnot because they're so powerful. They're getting lines and lines of code creating a, like a list into one line of code. And that's really nerdy, but I, I love it. In terms of performance, it, it makes everything easier. Some more awesome news for today. I had my interview for the Startup Catalyst Youth Mission at River City Labs in Brisbane City, and it ran amazing. I had a great time. It was over so quickly. Like, it was it was only 10 minutes. Essentially, it's the, the list of people has been narrowed down to about 70. Aaron from Startup Catalyst and Brianna are going to be interviewing the next 70 people. I was maybe one of the first. I'm not entirely sure when they started uh, for 15 minutes each to see who makes it out of the one to 20 people who go on the trip or the Startup Catalyst Youth Mission to Silicon Valley. So if you haven't checked it out, startupcatalyst.org, I believe, or startupcatalyst.com, I'll put the right link in the description. If you're age 18 to 29 in Australia and into tech, I highly recommend checking out this program. So 2017 mission leaves at the end of October. There's always next year's mission. I'm positive they'll keep this going. Do I have some cool things to show you or what? So today's been a pretty productive day, despite me working out in the middle of the day and then having a nap, because it's so hot here now. I live in Brisbane, Australia, if you haven't heard before, and it was like 37 degrees Celsius and it's definitely it's like what is it nearly 8 p.m. at night and it's singlet weather and I've got a slight sweat and my doors and windows are completely open but let's check it out completed the Python programming track on data camp so this number is actually a lot lower than uh, the other ones I had the other ones are in the millions so maybe not as many people have done the whole track. That means I'm potentially moving on to a new course in Data Camp. I'm thinking about this one, machine learning with Python. Considering machine learning is taking over software and software is taking over the world. So I, I figured that could be a good choice. And there's another one I'd be looking at as well, deep learning in Python. So I might do both of these actually. They're both about four hours long, which is not too long. I could probably get them out in maybe just an hour a day each for a week. But another cool thing is this site. Plural site, I believe it's pronounced. Plural site. I'll put the link in the description anyway. Essentially, Data Camp are partnered with these guys at Plural Site. At Plural Site. I keep calling it Plural Site. And their website's another education site to learn a whole bunch of skills, whereas Data Camp's focused on uh, just data science and coding in general, really. Plural Site has everything writing, video making. Uh, maybe I should maybe I should do some video making courses on there because <laughs> I don't know how well my, my vlogs are. I'm having fun with them anyway. Um, but the tool they have on here I really like is the Python uh, proficiency test. So it was only about five minutes long, about 20 or so questions, and I landed right in the middle. Between zero and 300, I got 145, just below the middle actually, so the 47th percentile. And so I've set a date in the calendar to do this test every month. So I get six months access to Pluralsight with my data camp subscription. I'm really excited for that. Um, so I'm gonna keep practicing Python over the next few weeks and months and whatnot and try and see if I can beat my score, get, get up into the expert zone which is over 200. That'll be my short-term goal. We'll get in that expert zone there. And because of that, on the Python path on Plural Site, because I landed at 145 Skill IQ, they recommended me starting at the intermediate level rather than the beginner course. Beginner course on Plural Site is about eight hours, so I potentially saved myself eight hours of the Python track because I'm at the intermediate level already. And that was a lot to take in, I know. Some really cool things. Oh, one more thing. I started writing um, part two of my artificial intelligence nanodegree assignment, which is to review a, a paper, a game playing paper with artificial intelligence agents. And I'm doing the, the one that Google published recently, or Google and DeepMind with StarCraft. And they built a, my puppies are going wild, this is a good timing to wrap it up. They built a, um, environment to help reinforcement learning agents in StarCraft. So I'll put it out on my blog once I finish the um, summary and you'll get the link somewhere in the description in the future. But I gotta go pat my dog and get some food and I'll see you next week.